All right, Trump just gave Fox News his first interview since the assassination attempt at the Trump International Golf Club yesterday, and it was highly offensive. He tried to blame the assassination attempt on the Democrats' highly inflammatory rhetoric. He said that we heighten the temperature in American politics and the projection is wild. These are the desperate words of a man who knows he's on the last leg of his political career. I mean, in the 24 hours before the assassination attempt, Trump posted on True Social, I hate Taylor Swift, in all caps. He also posted on True Social, the failing New York Times is a true threat to democracy, in all caps. He has posted stuff like, it has just been reported that aides to a Trump prosecutor, deranged Jack Smith, met with high officials at the White House prior to these political sleazebags indicating me over nothing, he means indicting me over nothing. He said, big lie, fascist thugs, election interference. This is the man claiming that Democrats are a threat to democracy. Time and time again, Trump ups the temperature in American politics, and I say this all the time, but his entry into American politics was saying that President Obama wasn't born in America. There are clips of him in 2015, 2016, getting crowds of Republicans to chant, lock her up about Hillary Clinton, really playing off of their most infantile urges. And then at the RNC, he got the entire RNC to chant, lock her up. We can skip forward to 2020, where Donald Trump makes up lies about widespread election fraud and cons half the country. My entire point is, Trump's entire existence is divisive, and that is the point that we will prove throughout this video. All that you have to do is leave a like, comment a blue heart, and let's jump into this interview with Fox News titled, Trump Blames Biden-Harris Rhetoric for Latest Assassination Attempt Says He Will, Quote, Save the Country. Democrats have previously blamed Trump for raising the temperature and being a threat to democracy. I wonder who is right. Right, let's settle that once and for all in this video. Who is the true threat to democracy? Because both sides throw that same accusation at the other side. We'll get to that. Exclusive Trump, I won't even say former President Trump, said President Biden and VP Harris's rhetoric is what caused him to be shot at following the second assassination attempt against him since July, telling Fox News Digital that the suspected gunman, quote, acted on highly inflammatory language of Democrats. And here we go. Trump spoke exclusively exclusively with Fox News Digital Monday morning, just a day after he was rushed off of the golf course at Trump International in West Palm Beach, Florida, after the Secret Service discovered a gunman in the bushes. We all know about the suspected gunman, Ryan Wesley Ruth. He had an AK-47 style rifle, he had a GoPro camera, and then he was arrested and pulled over on I-95. And just notice, Fox News says nothing about his political affiliation because... In 2024, he has said things about supporting Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley. Those were Republican primary candidates. Trump was safe following the attempt, quote, he believed the rhetoric of Biden and Harris and he acted on it, Trump said of the gunman in an interview with Fox News Digital. Their rhetoric is causing me to be shot at when I am the one who is going to save the country and they are the ones destroying the country, both from inside and out. So Trump is incredibly mad and these were his first words right here. He said he believed the rhetoric of Biden Biden and Harris, and he acted on it. So first of all, when Biden got into office, he said, I'm not a president for Republicans. I'm not a president for Democrats. I'm a president for all Americans. He also said, we're not blue states. We're not red states. We are the United States of America. Even Obama used very similar rhetoric. That is rhetoric that unites the country. And whenever Biden says that Trump is a, quote, threat to democracy, he provides the context and shows that it is actually true. He shows that in the days and months leading up to January 6th, Trump pressured a election officials. Trump pressured Mike Pence. Trump tried to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power. Biden always talks about the peaceful transfer of power anytime he says that Trump is a threat to democracy. Trump pointed to Biden and Harris's past comments, casting Trump as a threat to democracy while telling Americans they are, quote, unity leaders. And I just want to say, we should not let Donald Trump and MAGA Republicans confuse us or obfuscate or distract and stop us from calling Trump a threat to democracy. He very much so is, and he has has been since he entered American politics. I already talked about his conspiracy theories regarding Obama, but we can also talk about Trump in 2015 saying that if you burn an American flag, you should lose your citizenship. He then said we should terminate all rules, laws, and regulations, even those found in the Constitution. He then said again, you should go to jail if you burn an American flag, and that goes against our First Amendment right. So Trump wants to undermine not only our Constitution, but our rule of law at every step of the way, at every single turn 
turn, and when we call him a threat to democracy, he's the one that says we are extremists. I can also point to Donald Trump Jr. making jokes about Paul Pelosi after he was almost killed by a hammer, and then Donald Trump also making jokes about, did that wall work? Where's Paul? Where's Nancy? They had a wall around their house. It didn't work. Quote, they are the opposite, Trump said. These are the people that want to destroy our country, and Trump is the one who constantly uses rhetoric like this. Let's say 15 years ago, maybe not even that long, anything bad about Israel or Jewish people, you were finished as a politician, right? You were finished. You wouldn't do that, <laughs> Congressman. You wouldn't do You wouldn't do it anyway, but nobody would do it. The p most powerful lobby in, in this country by far was Israel and Jewish people. Today, it's almost like what happened? What happened? What happened to Schumer? What happened to all these people? Schumer's like a... Uh, a Palestinian. So he calls Schumer a Palestinian as if Palestinian is a slur. Trump makes up conspiracy theories about Haitian migrants eating pets when the Haitians are in Ohio legally. Trump also constantly says we are on the verge of World War III. We are on the verge of a recession. We won't have a country anymore. Israel won't exist. And again, he calls Democrats Palestinians. This is a man who has broken all of the unspoken silent norms in American politics. And on top of that, he has broken in the actual written laws, so that's why it frustrates me when he turns around and essentially tries to gaslight us into thinking that we are the divisive ones. Trump added, quote, it is called the enemy from within. They are the real threat, referring to us. Trump is saying that the Democrats are the real threat who caused this entire thing and the gaslighting is driving me crazy. Fox News then describes how Ruth had a long history of run-ins with the police and they describe his pattern of behavior and honestly, it makes me wonder, do the people writing this not realize that somebody like this should not have their hands on a gun? I mean, this man engaged in a three-hour standoff with the police in 2002, and now he still was able to get an AK-47. Trump said, quote, they do it with a combination of rhetoric and lawsuits they wrap me up in, Trump said. Quote, these are the things that dangerous fools, like the shooter, listen to. That is the rhetoric they listen to, and the same with the first one. It is insane to me that Trump is trying to use the lawsuits as proof that he is being targeted when he's the one that committed these crimes in the first place. It's like if I run up to a cop and punch him and throw up a middle finger and say, F the system, and then the cop arrests me and I say, see, they want to arrest me because I said, F the system. They want to arrest me for being a troublemaker when they clearly are arresting me for breaking the law. Democrats, meanwhile, have repeatedly blamed Trump for raising the temperature and have accused him of being a, quote, threat to democracy, particularly due to his handling of the January 6, 2021 riot at the Capitol. Yeah, exactly because because of that, and I always say, even if you remove the riot, all of the dumbasses that rioted at the Capitol, Donald Trump's rhetoric leading up to it, Donald Trump's fake elector scheme that he and John Eastman brewed up, which was inherently anti-constitutional, that is all, that all makes him a threat to democracy. Over the weekend, Biden suggested Trump was trying to incite violence, referring to his comments about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. Not only was Trump trying to incite violence, but many Haitian families have had to keep their kids at home keep them home from school. There have been bomb threats towards schools and other facilities. Biden, at an event over the weekend, said, quote, any president should reject hate in America and not incite it. So this is the quote that Fox News wants to use as tr Biden's inflammatory comments. In Fox News's eyes, Biden's inflammatory comments are, quote, any president should reject hate in America. The White House, the Harris campaign, and the office of Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, Harris's running mate, did not immediately respond to Fox News Digital's request for comments. Why would they? Trump also said Biden and Harris's policies are, quote, destroying the country, quote, by allowing millions of very dangerous migrants to pour into it and destroy our country and cities. On the outside, we are weak and feeble and not respected by the world anymore. The absolute irony, the irony of Trump using rhetoric like this while saying that Democrats are the ones that increase the temperature. Let me reread this. Trump said that Biden and Harris are destroying the country by allowing millions of very dangerous migrants to pour into it and destroy our country and cities. He used the word destroy twice within one sentence and he's saying that Democrats are the ones that use this divisive rhetoric. How many times, let me ask you for real, how many times have you guys heard President Biden or Kamala Harris or Tim Walz say our country is being destroyed, we're nearing a third world nation, it's a hellhole? Quote, on the outside, we are weak and feeble and not respected by the world anymore, Trump said. That is not true. Every single indicator 
later shows that not only the populace of foreign countries, but the leaders in foreign countries were had more respect for the U.S. and its leaders and its standing on the world stage after Trump exited office. Biden has a lot of clout among other leaders, let me tell you. Meanwhile, reflecting back on the debate against Harris last week, Trump slammed the media. He is literally just using this as one big opportunity to stew and to sow division and hate. Trump is spending this entire interview with Fox News to attack the media, to attack immigrants, to attack Democrats. Quote, the media is made up of fools that will spew Democrats garbage and spew their sick philosophies and protect them at all costs. And I can't believe they get away with it. Again, this is the absurdity of this interview. Fox News is letting Donald Trump attack the media, attack everybody while saying that Democrats are divisive. Trump said the debate on ABC News last week, quote, was so biased and so out of control and said, quote, Democrats are totally protected by the media. I'm sorry, but did the media not write like 2,000 plus articles about Biden's age in the first quarter of 2024 while ignoring Donald Trump's equal cognitive decline? Quote, Harris was the one lying about Project 2025. She lied about abortion and she lied about everything, Trump said. She was correcting me. What? It was three against one, he said. I was surprised at David Muir. I thought he was a high quality person, but he's just a sleaze like the rest of them. I can hear that in Donald Trump's old demented voice. He is really like old man yells at cloud. He's sitting there probably hunched over like he's a sleaze. He's a sleaze like the rest of them. He's genuinely losing his mind. And if you guys agree, all that I ask is that you leave a like on the video, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.